Let's go Bucks. Tampa Diary, number six. Well, we did come down here to actually accomplish something, and that was to cover each and every practice of the Tampa Bay Bucks, which is something I have been doing each of the last several days. I get a COVID test every day, then they come back and tell me I don't have COVID because I do nothing other than sit in this house and then go to practice where everybody else has been tested. So I have a very strong chance of not getting COVID in a COVID hotspot. It's called discipline. Look it up. The humidity down here is next level. Let me tell you a story about when I used to do training camp when I was a beat reporter for the Houston Texans. Our network used to have me go and report in a tie, jacket, dress shirt, pants. Yeah, dress shirt, pants. If you did anything more than one take for 30 seconds, soaked, death. Actually had the trainer come up to me one time and say, James, you out here in a sport coat with a tie, with a dress shirt on, and pants, mandated by my network. He said, I genuinely fear for your safety. Well, here at Bucks Camp, I do get to wear something a little bit different to practice. This is me at the Bucks facility. JP about to go into uh, Bucks practice. And I feel like I have way too much stuff. Obviously you gotta have a mask, but then the sunglasses, but you're not sure about the sunglasses because in this humidity, you wear them with your mask, they heat, they, they fog up right away. And then I have a beeper to make sure I don't go near anybody else. And then a thing that says what credential tier I am. And then a thing that makes me essentially an employee apparently, and a hat because everybody told me to get a hat down here. You can also tell that I'm not handling the humidity very well. I've been shooting these videos and then I kind of realized that this is a constant with me complaining. It also, you know, catapulted itself on the national television. There's plenty of baby powder flying around. Uh, that's definitely happening down here. It is humid to say the least. It's like somebody mentioned to me yesterday that I feel like I'm walking into somebody's mouth. And check me out at practice. Yeah, that's Gronk with the grab. But look at the gentleman in the back. The guy who looks like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. But take a look at the stance and on top of the play. Got the credential dangling, got the notepad in the hand, standing, ready to grab the phone to tweet, ready to grab the paper to write it down. I've realized um, there's a team down here, an entire football team, 80 players on there, with one of the most entertaining coaches in all of football, and Bruce Arians, who was asked about an injury to a player and told us, you're gonna have to talk to Jesus. The man is a quote machine. He's incredible. But we're here for one guy, and I've realized on television, I'm all about TB12. Tom Brady, 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 Brady's Brady, 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 Tom Brady.